But girl, I am so disappointed. Okay, I understand. Sis, bro, I understand. But I'm telling you, it's time for you to reframe. It's time for you to reframe the way in which you are looking at things. It's okay to be disappointed. But I'm telling you today, don't focus on the disappointment. Instead, focus on the lesson that was learned. What did you learn? What you learned challenged you out of that position. It challenged you out of that place. It made you change. And what it made you change was your attitude, your perspective. And I bet you'll never repeat it again. You'll never go back to that place again. That's what that all was to do. It was to challenge you out of the situation that you were in. So I need you to reframe the way that you are thinking. Don't be focused on the disappointment, but be focused on the lesson that you learned through the disappointment. And what you don't do is you don't be like a dog. Don't return to your vomit. It forced you to change. And now you can't go back. You can't go back to the way you used to be. You're no longer who you used to be. You're no longer bound by your past. You walk in a new skin. You're just like a snake. Snakes shed their skin. Did you know that snakes shed their skin because of three reasons, actually? The first is that they're growing. They shed their skin because they're growing. The next is because parasites. They have parasites on them. Doesn't that sound like something you can relate to yourself? Isn't there things that you had to let go of through this whole situation? So reframe it. Reframe the disappointment. It was a lesson. And in the end, the other reason why snakes shed their skin is because of comfort. Now you can be comfortable in your new skin, who God truly has designed you to be. Let it go. Reframe it. 